Big Daddy Auto Repair. Nobody does it like Big Daddy. That's um quite the assertion. Area secure. No Zeds here. Pretty sure there's something more dangerous than Zeds here. on my car, so therefore the army will never be able to see it. So, um... This is bullshit. We're just trying to survive out here. You can't kill us for that. Uncle Sam would seem to disagree with you there. Our orders are to evict squatters with lethal force if they resist. You resisted, so... Just let us go! I, I got kids, man! And yet, you're out here. Violating quarantine. Unlawfully occupying people's homes. Great parenting. Look, we, we're sorry, right? We're just trying to get by. Same as everybody. You got 30 seconds to get out of my sight. 30. 29. 28. 27. 26. Uh, 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 this is about the biggest crock of horse shit ever. We're done here, Sergeant. Tell your men to prep for evac and RTB. Yes, ma'am. Why don't you make yourself useful and go babysit those two? Okay. He seems like a nice person. Great role model to stand by. A true something. Out. So where did they run off to? Here? Hello? They will be upstairs if anything. Nope.
I need a breather. No, you don't. You just need ibuprofen. Anybody home? You won't. Why don't you come with me? We've got room. Really? My God, thank you. Thought for sure we were gonna die out here. Those soldiers won anyway. That beats the hell out of me. They just showed up, dragged us out onto the street, and sent in those guys in hazmat suits. Started taking a bunch of samples, talking about infection vectors, and a bunch of shit I didn't understand. I think that woman was in charge, Captain Montresor or something. Not like she even looked at us. Sounds terrible. Close enough. That's it, right up there. Make yourselves at home. Thanks. You don't know what this means to us. Trucker pills. I think that's code for cocaine, but uh, I'm not going to judge. Like someone told me, there's worse things to be taken by. Jack, he's still missing. We need a machine shot. <sighs> Which means that we're going to need a tools expert and something else. More likely speed. I thought speed was cocaine. The, uh, the the slang of the cool kids. Crack is whack, yo. Yo, just follow the road all around. Unalive, then another person will take my place. Me, gonna look around. Cocaine wouldn't usually be a pill or speed wouldn't. That's true. Guess 
it would be speeding in. of law breaking to blink ones, but you're tough. I might have a use for you. I'll be in touch. Okay. Sounds nice. Please do not climb. Okay. My person is going to get so much trouble. He's deliberately breaking the law. Maybe. Gonna look around. I think I've seen enough for now. It's really hard finding a good place to get construction materials. How'd you feel about helping us do a little Zed-related house cleaning? Artillery spotted. Huh. Spot the zombies for the artil army's artillery. That sounds fun. And they said, please. Yes. I'll run this home. We'll be ready.
So I have to use time, I have to time these things even more time. I think there's one last thing up here. No. Oh, it's right there. I'll run this on. Survey point discovery. Things to one more thing. Jack should have known better than to go off alone. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just, you should have known better is all. Heads up, we got a visitor. Hello. Guess we bit off a little more than Happy to help. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. So you guys will be fighting these zombies people because I can't really do that. My health won't allow it. Found nothing. 
Well, I think he may be in the straw, like, major part. That's a weird painting. Very secure. No Zeds here. Maybe he's in this building burning the building. Heads up! Got zombie activity three o'clock. Stamina went way down. Got any inspiration for me? In times like these, gotta search everywhere. You never know where he's hiding. Those around me, knowing that an entire community is looking to me for guidance and support, gives me the strength to carry on when all seems lost. Thank you. All I've done is point you to the truth you already know. Stay safe. He's a nice person. Hello? Oh. Look, I just think we gotta look at the big picture here. We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy's probably dead. Do you not what believe... How am I gonna carry this? Do you not believe in your friend? The one who looked after you while you were being birthed? I didn't think so. You are ashamed of this whole family. You should look out for people. That is a... Something out. What's currently in this truck? We got Zeds at nine o'clock. Oh boy. I don't have enough space. There's a multiplayer for this, right? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be in here. Oh, he's in there. Wait, is he? I'm not sure. Watch the right. Anybody home? If we get ganked, huh? You think Becca's gonna send even more guys after us? Cause I don't. Oh, here he is. Anybody home? Holy shit, am I glad to see you guys. You didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? We had a little help. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would've survived out here on my own. Well, go ahead, lead the way. Let's roll. Zombies up ahead. Go through, go around. All quiet here. I'm 
lucky they didn't hear that. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. Zombies up ahead. Go around. Better get ready. We'll be on as soon as we keep going this way. My nose. It's itchy from all that trucker pills I've taken. I'm sure we're there fine. Escort survivors. Sure. It's incredibly laggy with me driving, but that's probably because of it rendering everything. Yep, that's what I thought. So what happened anyway? Oh man, I was stupid. I was searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know, maybe they would have left me alone, but I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances. So I jumped out the back window, and of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn door. You keep me. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass, and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored. That sounds sad. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. God, if you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. <laughs> Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? Yay! I just saw that truck again. I think they're watching us. Any idea who they are? No, but they're none of the people we usually trade with. Hey, don't sweat it. If they try anything, I'll protect you. Dude, I can protect myself just fine. Okay then. Well, you can protect me too. I'm not proud. I am encumbered, and I don't know how to not be. Need something? How's things? Hi! Hey, how are you? Hello. They are all very nice. Makes me feel bad when I know that they're all going to eventually be <gasps> to Unalived. Station. Yeah. 
see. We have 14 people. Are any of them... Them tool experts. Okay. Thousand dollar fine for lintering. Well, in my place it's only 500. These people really need to step up the game. It looks like we need to drive up that place again. Survivor activity. In position. Eyes up high. We need you to do a little survey. Start looking around for hordes. We'll do the rest. Got a horde over here. Duck and cover, folks. <laughs> if anything survived that, you got bigger problems. We have smoke. I say again, we have smoke. Incoming. Clear the area. That's our load blown. You folks take care now. We have smoke. I say again, we have smoke. Package inbound on your pause. I say again, on your pause. Target's good. Here we go. Incoming. Clear the area. <laughs> if anything survived that, you got bigger problems. Well, they survived that, so... Was that it, or...? Person is it going by last name if Lawton goes as a judge? You fancy funny. It's like yes, my name is Judge Lawton. I'm here with I'm Officer. Out. Don't push yourself too hard. You need to give yourself time to heal. Oh no! Oh no! I'm here with Officer Policer and my uh, cleric accounty. We also have a. Uh, a lawyer named Justice. Justice Briggs. No, actually, Briggs is our jailer. We also have the, uh, the local town thief named Rob. We have a, uh, a, 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 a person who is in charge of 
you know, fitting our suits. His name is Taylor. We have a uh, a person who makes uh, you know necklaces made of cloth. And he's, his name is Tyler. The person hey, who makes footwear called Sako. There's also a painter named Miss Hughes. Let's clear these bastards out. Guess I'll follow you. Let's roll. <clears throat> it's on now. It's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Please current build and upgrade facility actions. We completed the thing, but I didn't get anything for completing the mission. Just, just XP. You know that? 
not too bad. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Let's roll. That was easy. stressed out over the end of the world. But you gotta figure out a way to deal with that shit. Take it out on the Zeds, not the rest of us. I appreciate your concern. It means a lot to me. Thanks. Crisis averted. I mean, our morale is high, sky high, our resources are also doing well, except for fuel, but who cares about fuel right now? I need to take care of that scavenger, because I'm pretty sure that person will have something to say about it. One person, because reasons, and also because I've basically leveled him up as much as I could, and he has he has good cardio and boots and all that other fancy stuff. Need a. Uh, Going on. Level, I mean, max level on this. Sounds good. Just mind the lag a little bit. Oh, Q is that. <laughs> Damn jumpies. Also, um, I just woke up as well a while ago. So, uh, yeah. This is the situation I had. <laughs> uh. Though it's also possible because of my uh, lack of sleep and my messed up sleep cycle. Who knows? gas every now and then. And since there's a finite amount of fuel, you eventually have to go everywhere on foot and it was just a big drag and everyone hated it.
I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Got fuel, food, and materials. Area secure. No Zeds here. Okay. Looks like no zombies were close by. say 50 50 sound good oh, okay loading up I'm loaded up see you back at base we'll be ready bags almost full could be trouble on the left yeah, there's an entire horde coming up over here, so... <clears throat> Get the hell out of here. Lead the way. Well, go ahead. Lead the way. Let's roll. All 
why in here? Going to survey this really quick. Zombies coming up behind us. You're welcome to stay behind if you want to deal with them. <laughs> this is a tall tower. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. I see some place worth a scavenging run. So many new places. home sites. It even has a uh, this little treehouse place. Got a horde on the move. Police department right next to a donut shop, really? I see some place worth a scavenging run. There's a building we'll want to check out. There's a building we'll want to check out. Mm-hmm. There's a building we'll want to check out. I see some place worth a scavenging run. There's a building we'll want to check out. There's a building we'll want to check out. Pharmacy. There we go. I think I've seen enough for now. Yeah, that was a lot of searching, but uh... Damn, I'm tired. The donut shop knows its customers, of course. But the question is whether the uh, the donut shop was founded first, or if the police station was founded first, or if they were both founded simultaneously.
There you go. I even made an entrance. Okay, here. that was it. This is for you. You earned it. Oh my. Um. How they doing? Not good. Two more slipped into comas last night. I don't think they're waking up. Why are you doing this? Aren't you worried you'll get sick too? Somebody's got to take care of them. You're, you're not one of them, you know that? I don't know. I think most people are... <laughs> Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I'm headed out. Don't push yourself too hard. You need to give yourself time to heal at home. I mean, probably, yeah, but, um... You know... It's... It's kind of literally on the way home. You know, it's not that bad. It's definitely southern all over the place. Slowing down and speeding up and slowing down all over again. My computer is like... What is it, like 10? No, it's not 10 years old, it's... I think it's like 6 years old. Probably. But my computer is older than my phone. I've had that for a while. I guess I can cut through the entire island. Not island, but uh, yeah, there we Yeah. Check this out. This came over the radio a little while ago. I managed to record most of it. I wouldn't mind some help getting past these assholes. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. Should be on your map. Create a distraction and lure off the zones. Sounds good. Over here! We need to make things. Guess I'll follow you. Let's roll. Zombies up ahead. Go through the door. Okay, we did it. Crisis of Faith. Joe escaped. I think 
also um, having high trust in the enclaves eventually unlocks a. Uh, I'm almost home. We'll crack open a cold one for you. Having high trust also makes us that way. Uh, I will eventually. Hey, you feeling patriotic? We could use your eyes to help us clear out some Zeds. Eyes in the sky. Said the potential house. I know that there's like a super great spot over here, but I think that's locked off until I get to a um, This is blocked off until we complete like some sort of special military assignment thing. We're supposed to rescue, rescue the brother and talk with the judge. Resources, a whole lot more medicine, a lot more food, and everything else. Seems like we missed an opportunity there. Look, there's some famous thingy thing. All right, I'm in the area. Eyes up high. We need you to do a little survey. <laughs> Drive through the window. The distinction is in the extinction.
Do your horn, sing out. Target confirmed. Target's good. Here we go. Package inbound. On your pause. I say again, on your pause. And we're done here. Enjoy your new smoking crater. Yeah. Check this out next. Don't push yourself too hard. You need to give yourself time to heal at home. Rescuing Riley's brother will progress the entire storyline, and that's when crazy things happen, like uh, zombie hordes begin to raid your main outpost and all that other fancy stuff. <laughs> and yeah, people are going to be a bit upset in Lord Morale if I ever you know, missed out on some missions, but. Uh, Super high. Prevents explosive mishaps. Requires chemistry expert. Replaces lost bumpers and doors. have the keys and the ignition and how are they all, you know, still have the full tank of gas and how, you know, nobody's driven them off yet. Got a fancy car to run over Zeds. Yep. Basically. And this... Unfortunately, this is the, um, well, it is the fastest car in the game, it's also the car with the least durability. So I distinctly remember always taking this car out and then being really upset how, you know, how quickly you just run over a single horde and it's already smooth. So I have to be a bit careful with this, even though it does lag up every time I come near an obstacle. Well, at least the turning radius is good.
hungry at Trojan. Trust me. I'll do respect, Your Honor. We're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I'm sorry. What exactly happened in the United States when I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, we but live it's in all a society. We all we have? The army's camp just across the river. Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government. Meanwhile, ordinary citizens like yourselves are living in fear. Fear of the dead. Fear of the criminal element that sees this as an opportunity to prey on their fellow man. Fear of the uncertain future of our nation. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right. Well, thanks for the offer. But we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns when the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. So, um... Don't take it personal. Why is this guy in the cell, and why is the cell door open? in pretty good by these things, and like you might have heard. We're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. Yes, we truly live in a society. It is my civic duty to... <laughs> duty. <laughs> He's civic duty. He said duty. Feel like happy to help. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. Don't worry, I have some methamphetamine and snacks. <laughs> they won't give us snacks, suppressors, and bullets. Nothing else. Okay, would you like to ride to my Camaro? Or as they like to call it, the Cabello? That's the person who was talking to me. 
I didn't understand it. Where were we? She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to live in the city. Said it would be a more enriching environment. I'm sorry. Not your fault. I just hope things there aren't as bad as they are here. They probably are, don't worry. They're probably like super on the life right now, sleeping forever and all that stuff. Looks pretty clear to me. I'm ready. It's up. That's obvious coming in. Probably not sleeping. Yeah. They're probably pretending to be asleep. Finish it off! It's a start. We should get moving. Lead on. What's wrong? There's another infestation. We truly do live in a society. This time the sheriff rides with me, you walk. Sorry, it's just the rules. I just made up right now. You think now. it's bad now? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of days. Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. The other half was trying to cram into the courthouse to protect. Mayday, mayday! Is anyone reading? We're trapped! Lots of zombies outside, and we're out of ammo! Don't know how long we can hold out! Sit tight. Help's on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. This is a good place to stop by. Officer needs Zombies behind us. Anybody in here? I really hate how, like, you know, you just call out anybody in here and it's like, you don't get an answer and still expected to search everywhere. Consider this one searched. It's like, fine, there's people searching for you. At least call out to something. Anybody home? Consider this one searched. Watch behind us. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Saved me. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though. Community reputation, community fame. Don't 
you hate when zombies can just phase through walls. Search wiped from this location. Be ready in a minute. back at base. Heads up, we got zombie activity, three o'clock. Neat.
Heads up! We got zombie activity at 3 o'clock. Oh no. Let's consider that done. I think this should square us. Um. Well, no medical supplies, but at least I got the uh, construction materials. Whoops. Good luck to you for sleeping. And yeah. See you later. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I need a breather. Run this on. We'll be ready. still moving around in here.
sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. <clears throat> I hope we don't regret that missed opportunity. Area secure. No Zeds here. I don't have enough space for this. They didn't hear that. Area <coughs> secure. No Zeds here. I'm headed out. Don't come home and rest a little. I need a breather. die without help. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Hold position. Fuck. Anybody who wants to avoid court martial, stay where you are. Everybody else on me! Copy that, Sars. Let's pop some heads. Let's roll. Well, at least somebody's got our six. Hey, try not to shoot us in the back, okay? Exciting. 
Whatever you say. All right, all right. I apologize for all the times I implied I'd shoot you in the head if you kept breaking quarantine. Tell you what, I've got some pull with the artillery pukes attached to my unit. I supply them with seized whiskey, and they rain hellfire on any hordes that happen to notice me and my boys. You get in a tight spot, give them a shout on the radio. I'll get the cannon cockers to send you a special delivery. But, uh, we should get moving. That fight's gonna draw more of them here soon. I'll see you around. Yay, we did it. So I'll just, um... What's up? Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. <clears throat> church safe. I gotta get back to my brothers when they notice I'm gone. Eli, we've talked about this. I'm not ashamed to be seen with you. It ain't about shame. You know what Job would do if he caught us together. Your brother's an asshole. He's still my brother. I better move. You get him home safe. You get yourself home safe. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Hey, I'm young, quick, and I got a big-ass wrench. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah, my pack was too heavy anyway. We should probably toss one more of those things when we get a little farther up the road. Give him some more time to get clear. I don't have enough space for this. That ought to be enough. Don't be too fixated on the noise to pay much attention to Eli. As long as he doesn't get cocky. I got it, Larry. We're on our way home. Thank you. Now please, smack him in the head for being an idiot. So, uh, I haven't seen you around the church before. I guess you could say I'm new in town. Right. End of the world, you just blew into town and somebody points you to a place to stay. Ow! What was that for? You hurt your sister. How's the leg? It hurts like hell. I think I twisted my ankle or something. And nothing's broken though. With a little bed rest, I should be fine in a day or so. Just don't expect me to be running around town dodging zombies until then.
What were you thinking? You know nobody's supposed to go out there alone. Will you please give it a rest? You're not mom. And besides, I, I wasn't alone. Tell me you weren't with Eli Wilkerson again. That's none of your... I don't trust him. You know what his family's like. Eli's not his family. Just be careful, okay? I just got you back. I don't want to lose you again. Hey, have you seen Dad recently? No, the last I saw him, he was going up to the lake to look for survivors. The lake, huh? Well, it's all coming apart at the seams. How's it going? I know things seem bad, but we're gonna make it. And you're gonna help. Let's go. Happy to help. Brings in a SWAT team to help you for a couple of minutes. Okay, sounds good. Need tools, expert. Okay. You been sleeping okay? You lost. I don't know. Just some people have been having trouble sleeping. You know, with the stress. Just wondering if you've been having the same problem. Okay, now we're gonna kill some zombies the old fashioned way. Nice work. You really kicked some ass back there. I appreciate it. Lead the way. Let's roll. That was easy. Don't you think we should get back? We're about done. Thank you, by the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, shit. I mean it. We gotta stick together, right? Alone, I would have been vulnerable. We need people to watch our backs. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. It helped. Good. Spend my influence, otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Okay. I should be worried about? Heads up, gang. Scouts are reporting a horde heading our way. Our defense is okay? Relax. We got this one. I could just run them over.
sentries watching the approaches. We're trying, but there's no good place to post sentries around here. I guess we're gonna have to fix that. So he'll come see Ed next? Yeah. Only, you're going to need to go get him. From the sound of things, they're penned in pretty good. Great. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll check this out next. You're just looking yourself like crazy. Come home and get some rest. Heard on the grapevine. No sweat. I'll help run interference while your people work. Guess that's true, I owe ya. I'll meet you out front. We need to build some watchtowers, like they have down at the courthouse. It's a fairly... Hey, Bex. What is it, Quentin? Not really, just, uh, you know, checking in. Dude, what the hell? I saw you like ten minutes ago. Also, kind of busy here. Right, right, sorry. Keep an eye out for the zombies. I'll be as quiet as I can, but... Well, I mean, I'm using a fucking hammer. Hmm. Zombies up ahead. <laughs> Go around. <laughs> Bail them out. That's up ahead. <laughs> One of each freak some type. Yup, I did it.
Anyways, like I was saying, the watchtowers were my idea, but Quentin designed them. He's pretty clever when it comes to building stuff. With girls, not so much. Trouble in paradise. God, don't get me started. So the other night we had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off, you know? Go on. So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. But now he's doing this whole lost puppy thing, following me around and acting like we're married or whatever. Okay, we got some more materials headed your way. They're loaded down pretty good, though. An escort would be helpful. Seriously, they're like 10 feet away from us. We really need an escort. off this clinging vine thing, I think I might throttle him. So, uh, how's it coming out there? See what I mean? Zombies up ahead. Go through, go around. <laughs> gonna do you? Should give us some protection anyways. We would have lost a lot of people without you. That counts for something in my book. Anyway, thanks for the... Oh, what the fuck? Hold it right there. Hands where we can see him. Whoa. Easy there, Alex. It's me, Sheriff Carl. Look, we don't want any trouble. We're just here to talk. Yeah, you wasted a trip. Turn around, walk away, and forget you ever saw this place. Huh? Wait. Who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. Ease up, Becca. Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody. Just one. All right. We'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. Attention, all civilians currently squatting in this godforsaken valley. This is the army. Don't forget, you still need to go get Doc from the Barrett place. Take the 
road southeast out of town a little ways. You'll see a dirt path on the left. Follow that all the way to the Barrett place. You can't miss it. A word of warning about the Wilkerson's, though. Now, I'm not saying they've ever murdered anyone in cold blood, but you might want to be on your best behavior with... Not right now. <laughs> What did you want to say? Well, you might want to be on your best behavior with them. That's all. Probably a good thing I didn't bring Ed then. Anything I need to worry about with this doctor? Nah, no, Doc's good people. He can be a little crusty sometimes, though. Uh, crusty? Everybody'd love to have Doc as a full-time resident, but he's refused all of us. He says it would impede his ability to look after all his patients. Nobody's had the guts to push the issue yet. Oh, sounds like a real old-time country doctor. He counts all and everything. Right past the old pickup. The other old pickup. Yeah, I believe right there. Where's Doc Hanson? We need to get going. Doc says Eli ain't good to move. So we ain't moving. 
I don't know if you noticed, but there's a whole mess of them fuckers working their way over here. That's right, Mickey. So why don't we put our friend here to work? Fine, you hold his hand. We're gonna check on you, Eli. That's your call whether you want to help or be a pain in my ass. I'd be more than happy to nail you to a tree and use you as bait. All right, then. Let's get to work. When they come, there's gonna be a lot of them. We need to set up defenses where we can, all right? Let's start by boarding up these here windows. There should be some scrap lumber in there that'll serve. This is where we gotta hold them. I guarantee you, we don't want this thing turning into a room to room fight. Zombies ain't smart, but they never quit. They'll find their way in here if there's an opening. And if you give them enough time, they'll make one. Doc's upstairs looking after my little brother. Don't interrupt him. And don't you dare let these zombies get up from stairs. Here, take this. When we make our moonshine strong, should make decent enough firebombs. Yeah. Should still be some cast playing around the place too. If you need something with a little bit more boom, put a round through one of those bad boys. Just don't be too close when you do. Coming up the road tonight. Better get ready. <laughs> Lock and load, boys. Company's here.
Better make these count. What's a good word? I'm sorry, son. I did all I could. Oh, hell. God damn it! How long have we got, Doc? Before he turns. Minutes, maybe. Maybe soon. Unless. No. No way. We are gonna bury Eli. Proper. Bury it and it'll claw its way out. My brother's dead and gone, boy. What we're talking about here is a kindness. I'll do it. Doc, you can't ask me to do this. I, I promised Ma I'd take care of him. I'll do it. Better do it quick then, before it starts to move. <coughs> Oof. Wow, um, yeah, that was a little bit, yeah, this machine gun is a little bit, uh, Seems like they're moving around a bit. it's a little OP. Better make these count. Help you with something? What's the sitch? The hell you want?
are gonna die. Hey, so look, we're not doing that great here. You seem to have your shit together, so we were hoping you'd let us join up with your group. Sure. Zombies on our right. How is it? The fever's lower than it was, but it still hasn't broken. Hey, do you ever look at the ceiling of this tent? It's, it's all, I'm the ceiling. I keep rain off you. <laughs> Good job, ceiling. The painkillers also seem to have taken effect. Let me take a look. You got them on antibiotics? As many as we can spare. Well, the good news is the wound hasn't become necrotic. I'll keep an eye on him till the fever breaks, but uh, I think your friend is going to make it. Thanks, Doc. Thank a man for doing his job, and will just go to his head. <laughs> Do I get a lollipop now? We've Probably got a not. Ten for two cases of one ammo. That's not really. No. We we have sixteen people. None of them are tools experts. I need a uh... trick or two. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Lily, your folks haven't seen Bill around anywhere, have they? I don't think so. Damn fool, probably drunk up a tree somewhere. But could you have your people keep an eye out for him? He's overdue by an hour. Don't worry about it. I'll alert the troops.
to one ratio of your food. Any idea who's behind it? Hmm, I don't know. Could be the old lady that volunteers at the cat rescue, or ooh, the Meals on Wheels guy. He's got a van and everything. Or, and this is totally speculation here, it could be the known felons who live just outside of town. Yeah, it might be time I had a little talk with the Wilkinsons. Might want to ask Job about it. Mickey's got that temper. I'd hate to think how he'd respond to an accusation like that. What do you want to do here? Let's go somewhere else. No point in drawing more of them here. Watch behind us. Kill some zombies the old fashioned way. Try not to attract too much attention. Now let's try some shooting. If you have one, attach a suppressor to muffle the sound. These things are homemade, so they don't last forever. There's nothing worse than trying to take a shot with an empty magazine. I guess you know your shit. Feel like getting a little mercantile? I'll carry the stuff and do the talking. I just want to have an extra gun on hand in case things go bad. Whatever you say. How about it? You can carry up to six people, it looks like. things to go wrong because then we get their stuff for free. Hey, how are you? 
What's the good word? Deal. Great. I think we'll all benefit from this trade. So long. I'm headed back with the goods. Lead the way. Let's roll. <clears throat> okay. Looks like no zombies were close by. Rule number one, cardio. Rule number one, so I run out of stamina, that's it. Just one thing. Another supply drop? How do they know where we are? This is weird. 
I hope we're not stealing from someone. But I guess they know where to find us. There's some trouble we might want to look into. I'll run this on. We'll be ready. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Check this out next. When are you coming home to let that heal? Never. How are things on the home front? Swing by when I get a chance. We'll talk about it.
necessary special attack. Talk to the boys if you're looking for a trade. I'm busy here. We've been hearing rumors on the CB. People out looking for supplies, getting robbed, stuff like that. I see. And you're the law on this matter, are you? More like a concerned citizen. Well, your concern is noted. But we haven't had any problems here. We look after our own. And you wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Take a walk with me, will you? Let me see if I can explain how things are. Funny thing about people, they don't much like to challenge their assumptions. Now me and my brother, we done pretty well for ourselves in all this. Other folks see that and, well, it is in the character of very few men to honor without envy a friend who has prospered. Esclus said that. And an envious man is a man who will spread rumors about his neighbors. Right. Because normally, gun-running moonshiners are such upstanding citizens. Because we're businessmen. It's all about seeing the long game. Rob a man, and he'll give you what he's got in his pockets. You sell him what he wants, though, what he needs, and he'll keep on coming back to give you everything he has. Did Aeschylus say that, too? Here, let's ask Mickey. Mickey, our friend here is curious if we've been stealing from our fellow survivors. Seems there are rumors to that effect. Well, shit. If we was, wouldn't be anybody to spread no rumors. See? Nothing to it. Now why don't you run along, and if we hear anything, you'll be the first to know.
My hero. Cannot believe you. You want to run away. Again. Come on, Lily. That's not fair. You're right. It's not. We built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. What's going on? I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here, and our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. It seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us too. me for being a little stressed out over the end of the world. But you gotta figure out a way to deal with that shit. Take it out on the Zed, not the rest of us. I appreciate your concern. It means a lot to you. Thanks. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call.
three parking spaces. Okay, we go right here. Yeah. My material cost. I found the best place to go. It's going to require a lot of people, but we have 16 people currently, and none of them are unaliving anytime soon. So, what was that with you and Lily? Hmm, it's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. What happened? Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this was my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. place that we could really stretch out in. Yeah, but can you imagine how many people we need to keep it secure? All quiet here. Wow, this place is a dump.
we have enough materials. Barely, but we have enough. place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we can fortify pretty easily, and check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Jesus! Can't see. Help me. What the hell was that? Don't know. That that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? No. Maybe we gotta go, huh? That's a few options, at least. There might be more out there to look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. Relocate. Let's set up camp here. I feel like we just got settled. You sure about this? It's time for a change in scenery. Moving on up. Look at your home. Uh, Thanks for coming to get me. Well, our resources are really high. Hey, don't be a stranger. 